Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Well guys, we started this project quite some time back, and if you follow my channel, you realize that we had some surface grinder issues, but I'm finally getting back to trying to get these uh, little straight edges that I had cast ground out so that we can get a few of them scraped uh, and ready to use. So uh, let me zoom you in here and kind of show you what we're working on, show you where we're at on the project, and come up with a game plan on what we're going to do going forward. So what we've got here are some, again, some castings that I had made up. I made, we made some patterns, 3D printed some patterns and had these things cast in cast iron. And we've got a six inch straight edge and a nine inch straight edge. And uh, some time back I did a video where I did some, the milling on these, uh, milled the bottoms and the tops and uh, the back back here uh, just to get them kind of ready to uh, go on the machine over here to, to start grinding. Eventually we're gonna, of course, uh, scrape in the bottom and the dovetail sides of these. But before we do that, I wanna get them fairly flat. And since I've got the surface grinder to do that with, that is a tool we're gonna use. So uh, if you look, uh, well, first off, my, my, my plan of attack here. So first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna uh, grind the top edge of this nice and flat. And we've got just a rough milled surface on the bottom. That's going to go down onto the surface plate. That'll give us a good mag um, chuck here, magnetic mount that will hold it in place. And then we'll grind the tops. Now the, the nine inches I've already ground. Um, actually, I did that some time back. And that's when we developed the problems with my surface grinder, which I have a series of videos uh, talking about how we fix that. I've still got the tops to grind on the little six inches. So we'll start with that. Once that's done, uh, these straight edges will get flipped over. Uh, we'll mag them down. I'll put some reinforcement on them. You'll see in a minute. We'll grind the bottoms flat and then using some angle blocks, uh, we'll grind the 45 degree face on these. I did not pre-mill those. We're just going to grind them in, rough grind them in and get them close. Um, it's just, you know, honestly, it's, it's just faster to just grind it than just to go mill it and then bring it over to the grinder. It's a whole nother setup. So that's the game plan going forward. Uh, so let's get in here and get started on this project. Again, we're going to start on the little six inches here and get those tops ground flat. All right, I've already dressed my wheel and we got the pieces there shut mag down so it's good and tight. Uh, before I do anything, I want to just kind of take a look and I've got my stroke kind of set manually here, but I wanted to kind of see what it looked like. Yeah, I think I'm going to be fine to work with there. And we're gonna come in here, raise that up a little bit. I wanna, I'm not sure the height on these, if they're the same, but I was gonna try to grind them both at the same time. We're just gonna come down until we get a little bit of a touch off. And That side's not quite touching. I'm just doing this manually. All right, we're ready to start. I'm gonna feed down a couple thou. It's got about three thousandths on there. And let's bring it on across. I got the table in high speed right now as far as the the stroke speed. When I get down to my finish, I'll probably slow it down a little bit to get a little bit finer finish, but for right now, this is fine. Just start catching on that one. Yep. And my goal here is, is I just want to get those tops down to where they are basically uh, just cleaning up. All right, I'm gonna go down one, two, three more thou. And feed back across. We're just gonna continue doing this until we uh, get those tops ground down. Like it's just starting to stuff the paint there, but not quite enough to touch off.
think I'm going to take a little bit heavier cut. We're going to do it in the 5,000 steps this time. Come back out with it. Yeah, it's going to touch off on that one now. Continue on here with that 5,000. Right, I think we've about got them cleaned up here. Uh, I'm still kind of in roughing mode right now. So uh, after this one comes across, what we'll do is we'll slow our speed down and take a finer cleanup pass. And I'm just going to take about a one I tell you what, let's just do, well, I'm going to do one thousandths pass on this one. I think we've got the tops ground on both of those. Looking good. Next step here, we got these flipped over for they're on that top surface that we just ground. And because it is such a narrow surface, uh, it's not going to want to stay stuck down really well. So because of that, I put these uh, blocks around it just to give it some support. Now these are transfer blocks, so the magnetism actually goes through these, so it's hopefully going to give it some stability and keep that part from tipping. That's my game plan and I've, I've done this before. It's worked just fine. So uh, with that, uh, these should be the same height. Uh, we ground them off the bottoms. We just flipped them over. So it should be pretty close to the same height anyway. So um, let's fire back up. See what I am gonna come up just a little bit just to be on the safe side. I'm gonna have to increase my stroke length too. So what I did there was I raised it up a couple of thousandths and what I'm going to do is just quickly just run over this, make sure we're not going to crash into it any place. All right, that looks good. So I think what I'll do I think I raised it up three, if I remember right. So I'm just going to go back across this real quick. pick up there. Barely. Yeah. All right. I'm going to be 
speed down about, uh, we'll go three thousandths. Put it back in high speed mode here. And let's see what happens. One thing that I'll comment here is that surface that we ground on the top has really no significance to the straight edge itself. That was done just strictly uh, to give us a good flat surface to, to use a, the magnetic chuck on. So they don't have to be parallel to the bottom face. There's nothing like that going on here at all. So uh, anyway, we're I'm not too worried because these are not perfectly parallel. That's not important. What's important is that this face down here is flat when we're through. So anyway, we've got touching pretty much across the whole part. So um, I'm gonna feed down one, two, we'll do another three thousandths. Go back across it. This should clean up pretty quickly because those flat, those bottoms were milled flat and since we did grind, that was the, the parallel surface that we ground the other side on. I'm not expecting it to take a lot to get these cleaned up. I just fed in two thousandths on this one. I just got a little bit back here to clean up. So hopefully uh, this will get us cleaned up all the way across. That does look like it indeed cleaned up, so uh, that's good. And not much heat in there. Probably we'll do the, use the cool mist on the rest of these, but uh, this is fine for now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give it again that uh, probably just a half a thou and I'm gonna put it in the slow speed. And let's uh, come across this thing. I like that, looks good. So the next uh, face that we're gonna do is the 45 degree face. And to do this, you see I've got some 45 degree V blocks in here that are also magnetic blocks, uh, transfer blocks. So again, the magnetic flux flows through this and I, it will actually mag that thing down. When we turn the magnet on, the magnet is on and they're firmly held in place. So that's gonna allow me to come in here and we will do that top part there, uh, get that ground in at 45 degrees 
and that'll be our two surfaces that we'll scrape will be the bottom that we just ground plus this top surface. So again, uh, we'll touch off. I uh, just redressed my wheel off camera, so we should be ready to go. I can't tell. It looks to me that that green one is just a little bit higher than the other one. I'm just barely touching there. it up just a little bit. All I'm trying to do is you're just making sure I'm not going to gouge anywhere. first pass by hand here. Now the back side that this is sitting on is just a rough milled surface. So that may explain some of this uh, unevenness, but it really, again, it doesn't matter uh, if, it's, if it's parallel to that back side or not. So I'm gonna feed in 5 thousandths depth. And because of the action here, the, the, if we go too far, of course, the wheel's gonna hit my part. So I'm going to do all of this feeding in. When we get, it, when we get the first pass, I'm going to bring it out and we're just going to feed in uh, the whole time. So I think we're ready to go here. Um, uh, I'm not sure about my stroke. Let me look at that real quick. Need to lengthen this side just a tad bit. And I want to actually lengthen this other side just a tad bit too. Put it in high speed. All right, let's take a first spin. Feed it down five thou. And let's try to go across again. We're just gonna keep doing this until it cleans up. We are grinding a rough casting here for the most part, so it's probably gonna take a couple of passes uh, to get it all cleaned up.
the that one's cleaned up. This one here is just really starting to hit. And uh, remember, we milled the backs, and that's kind of the index here. And there was really nothing to gauge on the front. It was just kind of set up on the mill, so it doesn't surprise me that they're a little bit different. Uh, but we're just gonna we got them both set up, so we're just gonna go ahead and take them down to the same. It really doesn't matter here. Uh, but it shouldn't take much more to get that second one dialed in. got it, but this next pass should get it completely. There's just a little bit of a holiday down there. So at least you get it this pass, and then we'll go in with a finished pass after this. Got it cleaned up now. those surfaces finished up and the last uh, surface I want to just hit is this back surface again this was rough milled uh, to be square with the bottom and it's, it's really not a critical surface but what I don't like is it is a rough surface I want this to be ground this surface will not be scraped but I just want it to be smoother it's, it's so I mean it's rough enough right now with that milling in there that he could pick some chips up or whatever when you're scraping. So uh, I've just got these with, again, the, the magnetic transfer blocks in the back. So in reality, what's happening is, is that the magnetic forces are gripping the bottom of this, and uh, these are being held firmly in place. So we should be good to go ahead and do that. Uh, don't anticipate this taking much to clean these up. Come down and touch off on it. I think I'm just going to do this in slow mode. It's not going to take much. I think we are through with our grinding job here, at least on these pieces. De-energize the chuck. Very good. So now what I'm going to do is just take a file, hit all these corners just to knock off any sharp edges and uh, so I don't cut myself. But these uh, two straight edges are ground in on the four sides we need to grind. And uh, those are ready to go to the surface plate and start scraping them, which uh, we'll do in a later video. 
So I got my six inches done now. I've still got four nine inch ones to, to grind out. And uh, I think I mentioned this previously, but I'd already ground the tops of these. That's when my surface grinder messed up and, and I just started this video again from scratch. But, uh, but that part's already done, so we can just start on the bottoms and get the other three sides ground. I'm not gonna uh, bore you with watching all that again. The process is exactly the same. We'll bring you in here at the very end and uh, show you the finished product. So I got my nine inches all ground in now. Uh, here's the two or six inches that we did first on video. Everything went just fine. Uh, I'm very happy with the results. Of course, uh, the, the bottom edge and this front edge will both be scraped in on the final product. And uh, I'm, I've actually got a couple of jobs on my Monarch uh, lathe restoration where these are gonna be needed. So I'm gonna be working on these pretty quick and also uh, one of these straight edges, uh, once I get it scraped up, is on its way out to the Barzi Summer Bash where it's gonna be a door prize uh, out there this year. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to make the trip this year due to a conflict, uh, but I'm gonna be there in spirit and uh, we're gonna send along one of these uh, for that event and uh, I'm gonna have to jump on that one pretty quick because uh, the Barzi Bash is only a couple of weeks away. And with my surface grinder being down as long as it was, I'm running behind. So that's going to be a priority to get at least one of those scraped in pretty quick. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a grinding video. I don't get to do too many of these and uh, glad to have this machine back in the arsenal where we can be using it. And uh, again, we'll be getting some scraping done pretty quick on one of these to go out to the Bar Z Bash. And uh, also, while I'm talking about straight edges, just a quick update. When we did the milling uh, video, there were a lot of you guys that expressed interest in purchasing a casting, and I told you I was gonna be working on maybe trying to find a foundry to work with uh, to do that, and good news. I have found a foundry that's gonna be working with me on that, and uh, we're working on still some little details. I have decided that I wanna make a few tweaks to the pattern, so we're doing some work right now kinda uh, doing a little bit of design modifications after doing the first ones. Uh, I realized there were just some, some little things I wanted to change on a couple of them, and I think we're going to try to uh, make them look a little bit nicer too. Not that they look bad right now, but uh, anyway, going to be doing a few little tweaks to the patterns, uh, but basically going to be offering these up for sale at some point in the foreseeable future. And uh, when I do, I will definitely get a video out on that and uh, we can start taking orders on those. I don't know about prices yet. We're still working on those details, but progress is being made and it does look like we're gonna be able to offer these uh, up for, for sale for anybody that wants to purchase a casting for some camelbacks. And I'm gonna have them in six inch, nine inch, and 12 inch sizes is my plan. So, and I don't even have a 12 inch casting done yet, uh, but we're working on patterns for those as well. So with that, uh, that's going to be a wrap on this video. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me some comments. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll catch you next time around. Thanks, guys.